Hey guys, Caleb Logic of DIY Video Guy here, and I'm actually here with Phil Ebner of Video School Online. He drove down from Orange County to come do a little bit of a collaboration with me, and in this video, we're going to be talking about After Effects. Now, I know After Effects is really scary, and it's been very scary for me, and uh, Tim, who works with me, we open it sometimes, and we just kind of get real scared, and we close it and run away, and so I wanted to have Phil here to tell us a little bit about After Effects and why you should use it. Yeah, I know exactly how you feel in terms of the scariness of After Effects. The first couple of times I opened it, I shut it down, ran away, and it wasn't until I took a, an actual class in college about visual effects that I had to learn it, and it's an amazing program. And my goal for your viewers, for you, is to teach you just how to get started, how to use the basic tools. This is uh, going to be a series of three videos, mm -hmm. so hopefully you guys are interested. And in the first video, we're going to be going over just opening After Effects, getting comfortable with the layout. And in the next video, we'll be looking at using the tools. And in the last video in the series, we'll be creating a lower third. So actually putting our knowledge to use and creating something. So it's going to be fun. I'm happy to be here. All right, so let's get started. And let's open After Effects. Yeah, so the first thing you're going to do is when you open After Effects for the first time, we're using the Creative Cloud version, the latest update. And if you are using Creative Cloud, perfect. If you're using a previous version, it's OK. The general layout is similar. It might look a little different. The look and feel has changed. But when you open up After Effects for the first time, you will get this welcome screen. And if you have created projects in the past, they will show up here. But for most of you, if you're starting out, you're just going to go ahead and click New Project. Now, to get on the same page, what I want everyone to do is to just look around and see what panels we have open. All of these little boxes are panels. And you're probably scared already. You see all these buttons. You see a bunch of different windows and text. And you have no idea what you're going to do with it. And for me, it's, oh, it looks like Premiere, but it's not Premiere. I'm scared. I'm going to run away. Yeah, and I always get that question. What's the difference between Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects? Adobe Premiere Pro is for editing your videos, for clipping together different types of video, adding your music, adding sound, adding some basic titles. Mm -hmm. But After Effects is really for adding more advanced titles, motion graphics, if you're doing any green screen work, visual effects like explosions. You can do all this kind of thing right within After Effects. So that's why we would use After Effects. And yeah, it does look like Premiere Pro, but it's not Premiere Pro. So <laughs> nothing like that. So the first thing I want everyone to do is to go up to Window. Then you're going to drag down to Workspace and make sure that we are on the standard workspace. And that's why we should see a project window up here, a composition window up here. And you can see the text at the top. It says mm -hmm. composition. You'll see a couple panels over here on the right side that we don't have to pay attention to yet. So just disregard those. Then down here, right now it says none, but that is our timeline. So that's where we will be working a lot, and too. Is a timeline in Premiere called a composition in After Effects? So in Premiere or Pro. Or a little bit of both. Yeah, so in Premiere, when you open up a new sequence, that's what you open up. You open up a new sequence, it opens up a new timeline. Mm -hmm. Within After Effects, it's a composition. Okay. And we'll be going over how to actually start a composition at the end okay. of this video. Okay. So the first thing up in the top left is your project panel. This is where you will import your assets. You will organize your assets. So you could bring in photos, illustrator files, video clips, mm -hmm. audio. This is your project panel similar to in Premiere Pro. In the center, this is your composition panel. And actually, to go ahead and see what this looks like when you do start a new composition, we'll go ahead and start a new composition. There's a couple ways to do it. One is by clicking this New Composition button down here at the bottom of the project window. It looks like a little film clip. Or you can right click and choose New Composition. It's going to open up a little module where we set our composition settings. Now the key thing to remember with After Effects, if you're working on a project in Premiere where you are creating some sort of graphic in After Effects for that video, you want to make sure that the settings are the exact same. So like the same resolution if you're at 1080p or 4K, same frame rate. Those are the main two, really. That's really the main two. And they have presets right here in the composition settings window that you can drop down and pick. 
or you can just go ahead and type in your different settings. Mm -hmm. So you have your width of 1920 by 1080, so that would be your 1080p or 1080i setting. If you're doing something like 4K, you're going to have to change that. If mm -hmm. you're doing 1280 by 720, you can change that. Mm -hmm. Below, this is set to square pixels, your aspect ratio. Just leave that at square pixels. Yeah, unless you're working in Hollywood and it's going to be anamorphic or something not normal, then just don't even touch that, basically. Yeah, <laughs> don't even touch that. I don't know if I've ever even changed that yeah. in my entire life. And then frame rate, this is where you set your frame rate. So a lot of us will be using 2997, 23976. If you're doing something a high, higher frame rate, you can choose a higher frame rate. Mm -hmm. And then below, this is a little bit confusing, but this is how long you set your composition to. So the duration right here is set to 30 seconds right now. For example, I'll just say five seconds. So you have your hour, minute, seconds, and then milliseconds down here. And that's how you set it. And all this stuff, keep in mind, can be changed later if you want to change it after you. Yeah, you can always go into the composition settings and be like, oh, I want this in 4K now and, and change it and might have to tweak it. But. That's Yeah, that's the one really nice thing about After Effects is you can change it later. You just have to resize things. Um, mm -hmm. But it's really easy to change mm -hmm. after the fact. So that's your composition settings. So now we're going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see this opened up a black sort of screen right now. The main thing you want to know as a beginner right now is this little percentage at the bottom left. This is the magnification of your composition. It's set to 200 right now. I'm going to drop this down and go ahead and set 100. So now it's 100% of the composition. This is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels tall. And depending on your computer or the resolution of your screen, you may or may not get to do 100%. This is a retina screen, so there's mm -hmm. way more pixels in 1080p. But if this was a 4K comp and we did 100%, it'd be a would, lot it'd be, still be zoomed in on it, and you'd have to change it to fit or whatever you want to do. Exactly. And some of you guys, you probably see me moving these panels around, so I'll just mention that briefly. If you do want to adjust the size of any of these panels, you can just go to the middle where you get this little mouse thing with the two mm -hmm. arrows, drag to the left or right. If you want to get rid of any of these panels, you can do that by right-clicking them and then saying Close Panel. So let's just go ahead and do that for this Info Panel, right-clicking and clicking Close, and Audio, because we don't need that for what we're going to be doing right now. Okay. So that's the Composition window. Again, there's lots of other things down here that you don't necessarily need to know about right now. The other key thing down here is the Toggle Transparency Grid. If I click that button, you'll see that it creates this checkerboard pattern, which represents what is transparent in your video. And so if you're creating a title, if you're creating some sort of shape motion graphic, it's important to know and to see what's transparent or not. And so while clicking this off doesn't mean you're going to have a black background, it's just sometimes easier to work with the black background. Yeah, if you're making little lines and you can see them a little better. Exactly. Yeah. And again, all this stuff can be changed, and I'll show you how by going to Composition, Composition Settings. And that takes you back to that first page that we had? Exactly. Gotcha. And see this background color. That's what we have the background set to, this black. You could change it to white, whatever color you want, but it's not actually changing the background. It's, act, it's just the in the After Effects program what it looks like, gotcha. not what the video is actually doing. On the right side, we have these other panels. The Effects panel is something you'll probably dive into. This has all sorts of presets. Um, adding different um, types of graphics, different animations for your text. It's all right in here, green screen work. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of different effects that you can dive into. We're not going to look at that today. Mm -hmm. And then down below, this is the last thing, is the timeline. And so the timeline, here you have your time indicator. You have your time markers up here, so you can see that it goes from zero seconds all the way to five seconds. The two things to note about this are the two bars above the timeline. The one at the top, if you click on either end, you can click and drag, and that zooms in to your composition. And you can zoom in and then click and drag the center of this bar and move it around this timeline. And then this bar down below, this is your composition work area. And what this is doing, this is kind of a preview portion of your timeline. So when I'm creating graphics, sometimes I'm doing
doing really intricate little motion graphics for like a split second. And I want to see it on a loop to just be able to just see how it looks and review it. So you drag over that section and then what do you hit like enter and it'll just start looping that? So now in Premiere or in After Effects CC, you should just be able to press the space bar oh, to play. And, see, and then it starts looping. Yeah, and so it will loop in that preview area okay, exactly. Gotcha. And then so if you move it and you put your time indicator within this composition work area and press your space bar to play, it will loop in that area. Now you can change what you want to use to play through your, your composition with this preview monitor right here, your preview panel. Right now you see the shortcut is set to spacebar. You could set it to any of these other options in case you wanted that. Or you could even just use this play, play button right here mm -hmm. to play through it mm -hmm. that work area. So that's really the basics of After Effects. I know it was kind of a lot. We haven't dived into any of these tools that or are lined up right here. any of these right buttons here. down here in the timeline or? Any of those buttons. We're going to be covering a lot of that in the next video. Um, but is there anything else that you're kind of confused about with the layout or with the composition or anything like that? So this is the standard layout that you use most of the time. You don't use any of those other workspaces or anything? So actually, that brings up a good thing because for us in this series, what we will be using are a couple other panels, okay. and they're the ones that I use the most in my own work. And to open up new panels, what we do is go up to Windows, and you have this list of other panels. Okay. And so the ones that I like to use are the Character panel, and I'm just going to click that, and you can see that it opens So that's for font and things, here. yeah. Yeah, so this is for all our text. We're going to be able to edit our text, how it looks, all that, mm -hmm. similar to how it is in Premiere Pro or or Photoshop, Photoshop or yeah. most other Adobe products. And then we're going to go up to Paragraph. So that's another paragraph, like text-based panel. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, Align. So this Align panel. So I'll go over this in when we're actually using the tools, but this will help us align our, our actual graphics so to So it's actually centered and doesn't just look centered. Gotcha. Yeah. So you can rearrange these. You saw me kind of moving them around just mm -hmm. by clicking and dragging at the top left of any of these panels. You can kind of lock them into place. You kind of see how there's a portion highlighted yeah. of these other panels. You can lock it into those spots if you want to move everything around. Yeah. And if you royally mess up a workspace, you can always go back and reset it by going to Window and then Workspace. And, then, and you then reset, or you can save new ones. Yeah, you can reset. So I have some specifically saved for myself when I'm doing different types of animation, if I'm doing more character animation versus text-based animations. Um, and it's really up to you, whatever your feel is. And you'll see the different panels that you work with. For example, I never use this preview panel, so I have it off on mine. Mm -hmm. Some of these panels have tabs behind them. So for example, this Effects and Presets has this Libraries tab behind it. I never use that. I never yeah. use that, so I'm going to close it. One that you will use is the Effects, um, let's see where it is, your Effects Control Panel. So this is when you add an effect to a layer or to something in your timeline, this is where you will actually play with the settings of yeah, that effect. Tweak the settings. and Is that where you do keyframes, or you do keyframes down at the bottom? Keyframes are going to be down here. Mm -hmm. We're going to dive really Get all deep into, into that. So keyframes. yeah, what are we going to do in the next couple videos then? <laughs> OK, so in the next video, we're going to be looking at these tools and actually how do you use them. So we're going to be looking at specifically the text tool, the shape tool, the pan behind tool, which is a tool that allows us to move the anchor points, which we'll dive into. And um, maybe we'll look into the pen tool as well. And then we'll do a brief overview of what a keyframe is, which introduces us to our last video, which is actually creating something, mm -hmm. which I have recreated your <laughs> lower third that you put on your videos. Yeah. Kind of not dumbed it down too much. It still looks really awesome. Simplified it. Simplified okay. it so that anybody watching the series will be able to create it for themselves, use it on their own videos, and we'll be adding lots of motion graphics and making it move and look special. So we made it this far. After Effects isn't as scary anymore. Definitely go check out Phil's YouTube channel, Video School Online. His most popular videos are After Effects tutorials. He also has some courses as well on his website at videoschoolonline.com. And stay tuned for the next lesson where we'll be talking about the tools and how to keyframe. So thanks for joining me, Phil. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.